Hi there, I'm Kim. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist, a certified diabetes care and education specialist, and a certified nutrition support clinician. Today we're going to talk about fruits you should not be eating. I know you didn't think I was serious. Fruits are actually a part of a healthy diet. According to the 2020 to 2025 Dietary Guidelines for Americans, we are simply not consuming enough fruits. So we're going to be looking at three reasons why you should be eating more fiber. So let me start off with this. There has been a lot of fear around fruits, especially more of the tropical exotic fruits. So I'm talking about bananas, pineapples, papayas, as well as mango. But in reality, fruit is a great source of fiber. And according to these same dietary guidelines, approximately 90% of women and about 97% of men are not getting enough fiber in their diets. So there's two types of fiber. There's soluble as well as insoluble fiber. So the flesh part of the fruit has soluble fiber and the skin of the fruit, like if you eat an apple with the skin on it, that has what is called the insoluble fiber. And a lot of people ask me, okay, Kim, well, what is the difference between soluble as well as insoluble fiber? Well, I'm happy that you asked that question. So when we eat fruit that has soluble fiber, that flesh, it actually attracts water to it and it turns into a gel in our digestive system. So it actually helps to slow down digestion and it also helps to lower cholesterol, so that's important for heart health, and it can also help balance your glucose levels. Insoluble fiber, on the other hand, actually provides more bulk inside of your system. So it helps to move things along in your digestive tract. So if you're someone that may be struggling with constipation or infrequent use of the restroom, then you may want to increase your insoluble fiber intake. Fruit is actually a great source of a variety of different vitamins as well as minerals. And most people may say, but I take a multivitamin. I do not need to eat fruit. When in reality, the truth of the matter is taking a vitamin supplement simply cannot replicate the benefits that you are going to receive from eating fruits. So yes, fruits do contain vitamins and minerals. Your supplements also contain vitamins and minerals, but fruits also have phytochemicals, which are bio compounds that actually benefit the body. They also have fiber in it at the same time. So instead of relying on a supplement to get your vitamins and minerals, choose the fruit instead. Go with a fruit first approach. And then finally, there are a plethora of different studies that show eating fruits can be beneficial for your overall health. There's this study right here, and there's this study right here, and there's this study right here. I'm gonna put the DOI or the PMID inside of the comment section. So the moral of the story is I want you to eat fruit. Fruit should not be something that is feared. A lot of people say fruit contains too much sugar, that's why I don't eat fruit. But in reality, fruit has more benefits to it. So if you like a particular fruit, what I would recommend is go ahead and clear that with your dietitian and your doctor to make sure that it can fit into your specific eating pattern. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. Bye everyone.